Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to use the D flip flop or the delay flip flop within the Logisim. Although we can make our own D flip flop, that is the custom built D flip flop, but as the Logisim is offering us a built in D flip flop, so we will take uh, its block here. And we can see that it is, although it is a very uh, less in size or small in size, so you cannot see it properly, maybe. So, but here you can see that it has one input, the alone input, okay, that is called as the D data. And one is the clock pulse input, and one is the Q, and one is the Q dash complement of current flip flop state so it is q and q dash the complement of the original output now we need to put our logic state to the clock and also the logic state to the data now we need to Now we need to attach two logic props to the output and the output complement that is Q and Q bar. You are not supposed to attach any sort of things with enable and all these things clear, reset and enable, okay? It's okay. You just need to observe it. So we can take this spooky tool. Okay now. What 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 is the main functionality of this? Uh, D flip flop is that it used to latch the output until the next rising edge of the clock. Rising edge of the clock means that when the clock goes from zero to one, then until that thing, until that thing, our D flip flop used to latch the. Uh, output that is like uh, wait like uh, it is if it is one now if it is one now you can see that one gives us one on output and zero on q bar okay now what will happen now the clock goes to from one to zero means that it's falling edge occurs now if we want to change one thousand times this data input we can see that our output is latched and there isn't any sort of effect on the output so now if there is again if rising edge will come like a positive now you can see that this clock pulse activates the flip flop d flip flop to see that if there is d on the output on the input then it uh, used to convert this q to 0 and q bar to 1 and now and now, now you can see that again, if I used to uh, do any sort of like uh, changing to the what's called as the uh, input D, there isn't any sort of effect on the output. So why it is so? Because we have, we need a rising clock uh, edge, okay? So rising edge of the clock, we can simply say that. So now, now you can see that when, when rising edge come, it used to swift it state. But if there is zero, so then then you can see that so yeah so the clock just activates the flip flop to see that whether this d is 0 or 1 but but until the rising edge used to come the flip flop will will be uh, holding these output as a memory okay as a memory so hopefully you got the concept that how we can use the a uh, D flip flop within the logism. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.